Hi guys, welcome to Flux Strength Work For Wednesday. This is week 12. We're gonna go over three different ways to optimize your deadlift today. So a big thing is people uh, doing the deadlift, it's really important to make sure that you're not putting on extra weight before you get the neural pattern down first. So we're gonna go over some different ways to kind of concrete that in. Uh, the biggest thing, number one, is keeping a neutral spine. So a lot of times you hear people deadlifting, rounding their back, so the, a lot of people will overcorrect and they'll arch their low back. What we want to try to do is keep a nice neutral spine. A good way to do that is to grab a PVC pipe or some kind of a dowel and put three points of contact. So you want one on the back of your head right here, another one between your shoulder blades, and then the third point right on your sacrum. So just get those three points of contact and then practice hinging at your hips. Forward, kind of to mimic the way that you'd move in a deadlift. And just work on that hip drive at the very top. And kind of go over this, especially if it's a deadlift day, it'll be a good idea to kind of go over that and make sure you got all three points of contact there. The next thing that we can do is that we see a lot of people uh, going over their deadlift, a big mistake is putting their weight forward. So this drill is going to help to sink your weight back into your heels and activate that posterior chain. So once again, you can grab a dowel uh, or a PVC pipe and just put these bands around the back of your knees and get a little bit of tension there. And then just focus on keeping that spine nice and neutral, hinging forward, and then coming up. This is just going to keep that traction to put the weight into your heels to make sure that you're utilizing your glutes and your hamstrings a little more than your quads. And then just go over a couple of those reps. And the third thing that you can do, or the third issue we see with deadlifting is that power from the bottom, from the floor up. So you want to get that pop or that drive in from your hips. So a good way you can do this is grab a lighter band, a lighter resistance band, put it around your feet, and then you can put this kind of around your shoulders, and then grab that pipe again to mimic the deadlift, and really focus on driving up through your hips and using that power in your glutes. So same thing, kind of bend forward, and then pop up at the top. Make sure you're working on keeping a nice neutral spine the whole time. And this is gonna work on that explosive power from the bottom of your deadlift. So those are three of the main things that you see as far as uh, movement issues with your deadlift. Hope you guys learned something. Thanks for tuning in.